Dan Wagner. I uh, manage the SOLIDWORKS user group network for Dassault Systems SOLIDWORKS. Uh, we're in Indiana delivering uh, a workstation to an amazing recipient, a really, really awesome young lady named Jenica. And uh, this is a project that's been in the works for almost a year. Hey, Jenica. Hello. Hey. Today's the day. We are here. <laughs> so there's a yearly event that we have called Slug Me, which is the SOLIDWORKS largest user group meeting ever. And last year's iteration, Slug Me 7, we decided let's partner with Magic Wheelchair and use our design tools to create a workstation, create something for, for someone in need. And for this particular project, we were hoping, can we expand a little bit, go outside of the bounds of what that template usually is, and maybe partner with someone a bit older who can participate in that design process. And Jenica was like the perfect pairing, the perfect partner really in that process. I am Jenica Miller, third year electrical engineering student at Purdue Polytechnic. So I was going through one of the spinal muscular atrophy Facebook pages and I came across a post by Magic Wheelchair stating that they were paired up with SolidWorks for Slug Me 7. So I commented on there and then the director, she reached out to me and she put me in contact with Dan Wagner at SolidWorks and we got started. She's a huge Doctor Who fan. And the best part about that is she got to participate in the design process. She got to work with the team, work with our amazing design team to really custom design something to, to her preference, really to, to, to what she wanted. I got the idea, I'm like, what if we took and turned the desk into a Doctor Who theme? We had multiple possibilities. You have all kinds of villains you could go after, many TARDIS designs, possibilities were endless. And so I talked to the team about it and they loved the idea. We did a bunch of concept pictures just from the show itself before we started doing some sketches. And we're like, this could really work with all the creative freedom we had with it. And really ended up loving the overall design and ideas we could have with Doctor Who. I provided hand-drawn sketches for the team. And then one of the other members, he would then do the 3D renderings with SOLIDWORKS modeling software. We got to go through the design process with Jenica, and again, she saw it in 3D, but the stretch goal was to get somebody to physically build this thing and physically create it. Luckily, Jeremy said yes. Jeremy said, you know what, this is a challenge I'm willing to take on. I think we ended up with the perfect partner, and Jeremy just, just really knocked it out of the park. It's an amazing creation. I'm Jeremy Fielding, and uh, I design and build all kinds of crazy contraptions and things. Today we're here to give the desk to Jenica, this project that we've been working on for months and months now. So very excited about this delivery. So we had the Daleks being incorporated into the feet and then the internal structures that we see in the TARDIS is how we built the back end of it. At the end of the day, it's an amazing desk with a big canopy that has a, a great Doctor Who theme. So for me, like we've all seen those shows of like move that bus and, and uh, see a moment where either a, a room or a house or a design is revealed and it really did feel like that. We got to experience it and, and see it really kind of through her eyes. We were right there with her and just kind of seeing her reaction to it because she has seen it in 3D. She's seen it in SolidWorks. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you think? I love it. You love it? I do. Uh, one of the things I wanted to point out is that these do break away. So that's by design. They've got magnets underneath. And so if you ever hit them, it's no big deal. You can just pop them back on. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, this is my first time seeing it too, actually, with all the paper off and it's like completely ready to go. Especially the lights you showed me that dim. Those are so helpful with soldering. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So helpful. That's nice. Cool. Yeah. It's also crazy to think about how many people were involved in this over the last year, like from folks here at SolidWorks to, to Jeremy, of course, to Magic Wheelchair, to you guys, like um, just so many, uh, so many people involved, which is really cool. Had a couple messages from a, from a couple of them here. I really enjoyed my time working, you know, directly with Jenica. It's easily one of the coolest projects that I've ever been part of, and I was just along for the ride. I had the best time 
working with you specifically on this design. I thought it was so special that you were a key designer and a key participant in, in designing this amazing desk. I knew it'd be great the minute you said that you wanted a dog treat dispenser built in. And I love knowing that this is an area that Jenica is gonna be able to unleash her creativity at. You know, this is where she's gonna be able to build and design a better future. Stay in touch, Jenica. Much love. Sorry I couldn't be there today. Jenica, thank you for doing this with us, sticking with us through this whole process. Yeah. And uh, it's just, I cannot believe this thing physically exists in life. Like we saw a 3D model of it, right? <laughs> but like seeing it sitting here in your room is just so different and so awesome. I absolutely love it. With how I incorporated it at the face, we have the Dalek design, the ultimate enemy, then the top, it resembles a good portion of what the command center of the TARDIS looks like itself. Great combination of both the designs and overall love it. Like, I mean, that was what this was all about, right? To experience her coming into the room. I could feel my heart rate going up. Like that, that was, that's what made it all worth doing this.